You ready? And action! Hi, my name's Eric Dean Seaton. I'm a television director and creator, writer, and publisher of the graphic novel series Legend of the Mantamaji. Growing up, I used to love comic books. My dad worked out of town, and he would come home on the weekend, and he would take me to comic book shops. And uh, on, it was crazy. On Saturday, I would spend all Saturday with him in the car reading comic books, which probably wasn't that safe because the windows were up, but, you know, I survived. And I um, have grown up always wanting to do comic books, and I got a job on a show called Living Single uh, as a stage PA, and the director at the time was married to the president of Marvel. And they had just bought a company called Malibu Comics. And uh, I told them about my passion for comic books. So I um, came up with a story probably eight years ago and wrote a script. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, then I found an artist. And we started working. And we wrote and did the books for six years. And I just met him uh, last year at Comic-Con when the books previewed, pre previewed at Comic-Con before they came out. I would direct all day. And then when I would come home, it's like storyboarding, I would have, I would write ideas and for the script and things that I wanted and at night I'd get home and there would be uh, layouts of what I wanted and we'd make changes and then he'd do the pencils and he'd do the inks mm -hmm. and uh, what that was originally just gonna be one book but by the time we got done it ended up being three 200 page books a uh, full epic story beginning and a middle and an end. Mantamaji and the story Legend of Mantamaji is uh, about a shallow conceited district attorney of New York uh, who finds out he's the last in a race called the Mantamaji who's to protect us from the forces of evil so he's the last possible person you ever want to be a hero, is forced to defend us against an evil sorcerer who's been resurrected in New York City and is posing as a religious leader. Will be weapons, guns, ammunition, stuff. We'll do some uh, an opening shot. Uh, crane will come up. It's the opening scene of the first book. And the scene takes place in a warehouse, uh, and there are these gang members called the uh, New World Knights who are um, by day, by night they work for Sirac, and by day they um, are disciples of Hope, which is what Sirac calls himself, Brother Hope, by day. Um, and so they wear these masks, and they have um, over the last few years assess this entire, this huge arsenal, and they're taking down other gangs and all that, and, and no one's ever been able to catch them. There's no digital print of them. They're good internet. There's no physical print of them. It's just a rumor that these these uh, New World Knights exist. Coming over. We'll do all the opening, and then we'll jump back into the fight stuff. Um, uh, I figure tomorrow morning I'll tell you the rest of the stuff. There's a rocket. I, I, that's enough for today. So I, <laughs> <laughs> rocket launcher, there's a whole bunch of stuff. So um, I think... After we do the running uh, morph, um, once we set up the crane and figure out how much distance for the landing and the going upside down, that'll determine where the fight starts, right? right, right? Yeah. My name's Philip Michael. Uh, I've been playing Elijah from Mentamari. I'm originally from London, the UK, and I'm here in LA. So we got Philip, uh, who um, is an actor. He was in uh, Mamma Mia and a stuntman. Um, and uh, he signed on to do it, and from that moment on, um, we had a deadline and a date. I'm Nicole, I'm the prop master here on the Legend of Manta Magic. Over here, so we're setting up kind of like this methodical um, weapons table. Apparently, these bad guys are really organized, so we're trying to make it look like they're, you know, counting this stuff out, inventorying it. Um, and here we're gonna have like crates of weapons, guns that they're gonna be going through. Um, you have your, you know, your hand grenades over here. <laughs> we're gonna keep going with more um, canned grenades and the stack piles of crates. And um, just weapons, weapons. Oh, and this is our, our big guy right here. Bazooka. So he's getting ready to get up there. So anything that explodes, we have. My name's Allie. I'm the decorator on this lovely short. We've come together with crates from Hong Kong, 
working in Beijing and Istanbul and different types of weapon bins so that we could pull off the look so that all of our um, all of our bad guys look even more menacing. So we've got lots of cool pooling industrial lamps to help us with the weapon silo and make a little pod so that people can run around them and disappear and do some really cool stunts and jump over them. Um, there are definitely um, there to be moved around for camera and make some movie magic. We have uh, 12 stunt guys, um, 20 uh, total people of eight other extras, but they're all wearing the masks because in New World Knights wear masks. So you're going to see a fight with probably 40 or 50 people. He, he can do it. He'll see the camera moving. Okay. I'm Mitch Gould, uh, one of the stunt coordinators. It's me and Wayne Dalglish. Wayne and I have kind of put together the choreography a couple weeks ago, we've been kind of tweaking it along the way, and then we, once we got everybody here, we could just plug them in, and, and again, they're very good. They've done Captain America and the new Batman Superman movie, and so we've got a lot of big sort of comic book movie people here. Ready, and action. Let's find it. back behind Kai, and uh, that'll be a little bit easier for me. Yeah, okay. Cool. I have to get pop, 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 pop here, right here. That's why I can't so you can lay the track for that. Right, we just need to lay a little more here. All right, guys, it's reset. Um, yeah, I think we got a really bad deal. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I think your face has got to play, you know. I see shooting and shooting and shooting. I got a morph, I got a morph, I got a morph. And then, really, your arms, it's like you're doing like this. Your arms got to really come up. You really don't go that fast, you got to come up. That's great, right there, dude. Camera and action. Nice. That was good. That was nice. Perfect. Perfect. And cut, move on. The costume you're going to see is um, as close to the book as we could get it. So the suit is very flexible. He'd be doing Bruce Lee type of stuff, as if he had no suit on. The two things had to work for us to be able to do this. The moment we had to find somebody that could build the suit, and, but as soon as we found him, we had to find the person, because it's a two-month process to build the suit. Um, and so we got Philip. Um, the body armor is, is, is kind of a metal and leather, like, because that's what would be around 3,000 years ago. And even his symbol um, goes in, not out. Um, because most superhero symbols stick out, I want it to be in because it's a part of him. I'm Brian Adler, executive producer at General Giant Studios. Today we're scanning talent, and it's a multi-stage process. The first thing we do is bring talent in to a photo booth that has cross-polarized light that allows us to capture the textures, both specular and diffuse, that the CG artists later can apply on top of, which we will create by actually scanning him. They'll draw four lasers on his body while cameras measure the contouring of the light. They'll measure, essentially, the shape of the laser line changing uh, every moment that it moves vertically up and down his body. And that's how we'll actually create a dense point cloud and then a mesh to create the shape. We'll then take the textures that we shoot separately and apply those on top so that they can be relit and composited into any environment. That speeds. One, echo. Ready and action. I'm missing you gritting your teeth and, and there's any little, yeah, 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 okay. and, and your head up a little bit. I miss seeing it. Like, okay. you turned your head so much to see where he was. Yeah. I only saw yes. like half of your All right, okay. Yeah. Ready and action. That was awesome. Nice, Ryan. We can see it way back in there. That's good. Run the bike! Run the Everybody that was here yesterday, thank you so very much. I mean, a whole lot. It was a lot of fun. It looks really, really good. And so we have to, we're, mainly the whole first two hours is all on you guys. Um, then we have to do one shot where uh, 
uh, Phil has to run uh, with these boxes, and then it's another stuff that you guys, and then we get into the fight. So right now, I'm gonna have you work with Eric and Mitch to get placed, and we're gonna block this out. Uh, we'll work with camera to get our lens placement, and then do any lighting tweaks and shoot. Does that sound good, good everybody? Yeah. Good. All right. I want to make sure you just, you'll see the camera on your face. Okay. I feel it. I really want to see you. We'll go from you doing the gun stuff to your face. Right. And then you turn it All right. My name is Jesse Noel, and I'm doing the special effects. So what we're doing here is, this is when we first introduced the Montemaggi, and he comes in in his human state, or his non-morph state, and he kicks the door in. And so what I'm doing to make the door kick a little bit more exciting is I'm adding some splinters and some dust in, so when the door gets kicked off the hinges, it adds a little bit of atmosphere to give it a little more flavor than just a piece of wood flying in the frame. Yeah. Yeah. So today's a, the big fight today, so we have a lot of a lot of choreo to do. Uh, yesterday we kind of touched the first part, a few leaps, the runs, the jumps, the introduction of Elijah, and uh, pretty much feeling really good today. So see how it goes. All right, go ahead and call it. Roll camera. I'm Dan Southworth, and I am playing the Blue Knight, which in this situation is the leader of a small organization of rebels, rebelling against who knows what. Uh, but what's going on in this setup is we've got our guys arming themselves and preparing themselves for their day of retribution. And of course, our leader comes in, played by me, the Blue Knight, happy and cheerful about the progress, the way things are going, and ready to inspire his boys to lead the fight hard and long. Just have to prepare. For Friday is our day for retribution! We started off here at Grassroots and we premiered at Comic-Con. Um, and we did really well at Comic Con, and um, the books weren't out yet, but we were um, having we had exclusive. Comic Con gave us the right to call it a Comic Con exclusive. We got the sticker. We had to do that. You have to send the books to them. They have to read them and approve them. Um, so they liked them, and then we premiered the first book uh, at New York Comic Con on October eighth, and did Beyond Fantastic for that weekend. Um, and then the second book came out in December tenth, and so it's been building. And it's funny because um, we're in digital and print in every format. Um, you can get it at Barnes and Noble, Amazon. Um, libraries, you can get it digitally, Kobe, uh, iTunes, and all that. And the cool of the book is it's two, 2D. Now that we're doing everything in 3D, you know, real, it's gonna be very interesting, the outcome of how it looks. Got it. So we take them all the way down here, right? Yeah. Then, it's, then the, on, the, on the dolly, the camera stays here. Yeah. And we gotta get them coming towards when he did the jump and leap. Running towards, right? Yeah, running yeah. towards. Mm -hmm. And then we're into the fight. Right. Okay, come back, come back. One apple for me, take one. Okay, I'm right. Good. Sir. Sure. Ready, yeah. Sure. Okay, ready? Action! Oh, you need to know. Jessica. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goes there and comes back from Detroit. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm Eric's producer. He's the best person I could have got for the job. Uh, he's a great producer. Produces a show for Nickelodeon right now, uh, Bella and the uh, Bulldog. And, which Eric uh, will be directing in a couple of weeks. He'll be directing in a couple of weeks. So here's the thing, because you're on one knee, so we don't lose your place. You're doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it. I'll say it turns into a shield, and then just go like this, but don't move this leg. Okay. So that way you can get right back down. Okay, and then we won't, it won't be off. Then we'll give you the shield, and then you'll then you'll do everything. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Let's do it. Ready? And action! You're firing. Everybody's coming in. Firing. 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 And it becomes a shield. And three, two, one, go! And cut. All right. Action! It's blocking bullets. Blocking bullets. Blocking bullets. And three, two, one, go! First of all, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Thank you all for the last two, uh, for the first two days, and uh, let's have a fun last day. Let's just block through the action. No, no camera. Just watch. Let's just block through the whole action. So all five of us, four stunts, and Philip know what's going on. Well, then we'll do it one more time, and Eric will walk us through exactly what the camera move is tracking this. All right, it's the first one. All right, so you look, you don't see him. So you go that way. So as you go that way, Wayne swings around. Phil, come around. We see him, come this way. All right, so we follow him over here. Great, we follow him over here. Go across, no, you just, yeah, you do that and keep going. Now, he goes in here. We follow him. Great, whoop, okay, cool. And then as he looks that way, we swing around. As we swing around, oh, we'll see somebody go across this way. Great. Perfect, and then uh, you'll go up that way. You go up that way, you go up that way. He goes over here. All right, he stops, you come around. Nothing's happening again. All right, and then, and then, go. Great. Go ahead, Shauna. And roll camera, please. For sure. Okay. All right. Ready? And action! And you see me, you're struggling. Breathe in and try it. And nothing's happening, try again. Start to try again. And you hear something! And... Goes around. Coming. And you look. And head back! And you go. And take a look. And bring the head back. And cross, cross, cross! And go! Turns around. Somebody crosses. Cross! And go ahead, Philip. Move forward. And go to your position. Get in front of him, Wayne. You see the honk? And you try to change. It's not working. And pan and see Victor. Victor's coming. You gotta get it. And go! <laughs> And cut. Perfect. That's a cut. That was awesome. This is my brother Casey Noel. He's here with us today. Uh, we're going to be doing some more action sequence stuff. Uh, we have some breakaway crates that we're going to do, and we have a little bit of possible debris that's going to come out, and a little bit of rigging on some tables that we're going to flip. We're basically doing a, a bunch of good action stuff, but with no pyrotechnics. So we've got our paintball guns we're going to be shooting the, the caps out of. The Monomaji's going to get blasted by a rocket. Boom! Rocket's gonna go off. He's gonna do some cool stunt flip or something into a crate, smash our breakaway crates, and then while he's down there, we're gonna pop the air mortar, blah, like into him, and then we're gonna have the debris and dust and stuff like that falling down on him. It's actually kind of this is this is our big day for the action sequence. This is the day that uh, we've all been kind of waiting for, prepping for for the three-day shoot. And we're gonna pull the table from this corner and the wrapper to this corner. So the table's gonna 
kind of flip up on this side and flip over. So it's going to go this direction. So if this light can move, that'd be great. And um, I think that's about it. Anybody who is this way should step off to the side. Yeah. Roll them up. Don't we got to do roll them. Roll us out, please. Roll camera. Speed. OK. Right now, it's mostly American, but it is available digitally in any format worldwide. And that's the other reason I wanted to do this um, digital short, because I met some uh, directors from South Africa, where the, everybody in the world is equal is digitally, with phones and iPads. No matter what the world the country is, everybody has phones, everybody has iPads, everybody gets apps. And the one thing from talking to those directors in South Africa, they were like, is this on digital? Is this an app? You know, it's like, a, you know, we wouldn't necessarily buy a print copy, but if we could read it on our phones or our apps, or if we could, if it's digitally, we would eat it up. And so definitely I want to um, push the digital series of it. But what people will realize is Captain America, Spider-Man, Batman, they were out for 50, 60 years. At some point they were animated series. At some point they were a toy. At some point they were something small before these major movies. So when you create something brand new, to think that you're going to compete with them on the same level, if something has 50, 60 years on top of you is, to me, you're not, not going to work. So, but digital is a new is the new age. So, and what's the next step from you know print digital? So let's do a digital series. Let's do it digitally. So that way it can become global instantly. Digital is the basically the the animated series that Spider Man was in the sixties. This like pool of light, so you uh -huh. could get some guys right in here. Right, right, right. Yeah, I mean, just once we're out, once he once he starts that move. We just need to you know, make it something that gives a life. feel really good. We're uh, moving to the fight section part. We just did the shield uh, morph, which is the first morph of his Ankh. And now he's going to take the shield. We're going to do a close-up of it. And he's going to morph it into uh, a staff. And he's going to be blocking bullets and really start taking people out. And we shoot this on a techno jib so we can get a high angle. So this is the big, this is probably the longest of the different fights that we're going to do. Yeah, and just actually one guy, and then this guy, and then the other one guy. Okay, all pictures up. Camera speed. All right, so everybody has their guns up. Okay, ready, and action, Philip. You guys bring it up, and they're looking, and start to go, and crane up. This is the last shot of the night. It's day three. We have to do our final uh, superhero shot. Uh, it's the iconic classic superhero shot. Uh, it's a little bit of a twist, and then we'll uh, add a big CGI background to it. Um, but everybody is happy, and they, uh, most everybody's going home on time. And uh, they did a really good job, and I couldn't be happier. And I'm so proud and honored that all these people uh, came and worked on this. So, so here comes the last shot. All right, are you guys ready to rock? Yep. All right. Bring it on down. And roll them up. And action. Going up, going up, 
You're looking around, looking around, looking around. My dream would be Man Tamaji is a household name. It's a household hero that people are reading the stories to, and, uh, and I'm not the only one writing the stories. Other people are writing stories and their versions of... It's kind of cool to really, after all these years, like, do your dream project. Like, that's the most exciting thing about it. Like, really, to get in there and, like, to take this 2D idea and turn it into this 3D world and all that. I'm excited about it, and then, and then, um, and then and it's the unknown. And it becomes a sword, and now it lights on flames, and you look at us, Great. And swing it. Good night, everybody. Yay. Thank you.